Always a pleasure. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Joe Lewis, he's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. The Brown. He is the. Not too many seats. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. And he caught him with a left hook. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back. Good luck. You're fighting the counter punches, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react to that. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching you, watching you every move. Changes from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Both men step back for just a moment. Absorb that hook. He just misses with that big right hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Perfect counter lands. There's a counter shot. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Here we go, it's round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be afraid, don't get sucked in. Make him fight, you're fine. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Back and forth they go. And wait a minute, the left hand lands. He parries away that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. This is all about ego. And safety is out of the window. Tactics are out of the window. They don't need gloves. They need beer glasses. The way they're fighting. This is ridiculous. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Because that's all big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them. They may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because somebody's gonna get hurt, and someone's gonna react. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. down big time on the score. Wow, it's like two different leagues. There's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. And he's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't so fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Really sharp. They exchange punches. He just misses with that jab. He blocks the uppercut. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How could you handle that? It could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Both men step back for just a moment. He parries that left jab away. Good counter right hand again. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. Oh, I heard that never by so it. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Here's the bell to start round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Fighters not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is gonna happen, so you rush your work. You think I've got to get him inside close round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice counter shot. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Can they figure out the combination to this set? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this part will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. This fighter's certainly not going to out-throw their opponent by any means. But they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain, then. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Every second, every minute of this fight. Here's the bell to start round five. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Nice counter. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster.
They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Neither fighter really just sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Oh, you see much, much more. Much, much better. You've been spoiled. I'm not being unfair. I'm not being unfair since little boy. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. Some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. He threw the hook, didn't land. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That counter shot lands. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this tech... That starts the six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. These fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Neither man really defending themselves. Why aren't they defending? Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. He blocks the hook. Skill for skill, tap for tap, it's like a match made in heaven. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I see some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Nice job landing that left counter punch. <laughs> You know the score cards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Going to need a knockout. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. There's the bell, start round seven. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. You miss with that jab. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in best shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? Big left, but doesn't score with it. Nice 
exchanges from both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice counter shot with the right hand. He gets out of the way of that left hand. He misses with that jab. He parries that. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges... Round eight, and we're off again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good counterpunching for both these athletes. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. He misses with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left punch. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? God, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Beautiful counter punch. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. There's the bell start round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. You're fine. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. This is the danger. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. So much for boxing, this is a fight. <laughs> Failing to score with that right hook. <laughs> Both men step back for just a moment. <laughs> He misses 
misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. You can't leave it up to the judges. There's the bell for round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round, but see if he can keep his momentum going. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this could be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Neither fighter willing to sit down on the punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass skull? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, it's like two different leagues. And there's the bell for round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. on that hook. They just missed with that big right hand. When you talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think of them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little baby to pickpocket them. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. <laughs> both of these men showing exceptional chance, by the way. Exchange here from both men. They blocked that right hook. This gets out of the way of that left hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Counterpunch. That left counterpunch for score. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. Who thought we would have made it to 12? So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Counter left. 
And there. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Left scores. <clears throat> this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done it in the fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think. What the hell am I gonna do now? Can they figure out the combination to this state? Can't find a home for that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Swing and a miss with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the judges' scorecards as a unanimous decision victory. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, but what a result. Yeah, that hate the grind and sweat the blood of time, my motivation. I work too hard, too long, and I be in the conversation. My team been up, way up, ain't nothing less than domination. I got the game and say, we're locking key in combination. Keep it low, that high sight, don't focus on what's high side. Sleeping on me till I'm night, night, it's my time and a bright light. Don't have a band, no mind, and keep it pushing, don't ever give them a sound. They will let me push a shot at what they want to talk about you when you down. Motivation. Shoot for the score. Hey, if I had a penny for everyone, that'd be I'll make a million a month off a salary. Picture me rolling, go look at the gallery. I've been eating now, look at the calories. No, I've been out up on the road, trying to make it to my goals. Had a lot of friends in the past when I quit on me, had a fold. I remember being told, so I don't ever say it's all for the girls, for the cost, for the fame, for the riches, for the gold. Yeah, I've been chasing material things, I've been chasing my dreams. Stay close to the team, I don't ever need no reason to leave. Heard the birds in the trees, telling me shit is a breeze. See, I do it with ease, wanna make it them believe Bad time that I came through and I got one for the boy hey, Now I'm finna ball out, step back, shoot for the score hey, One time for the one time, I'll rebound, I rebound In the meantime, I stack up, this win my reward Motivation, all the hating that they doing, that shit motivation Staying winning, nothing less, ain't no consolation Used to tell me that I couldn't, that's my motivation Yeah, my motivation Motivation, all this money on my mind Just wanna find a runaway Hide from the
Only one number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a boom. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Straight in, more pain, so more gaining. You ever came in, God's blazing. At Raven, you get weighed in. Been training, sick of waiting. Some failing, not plain sailing. Entertaining, check the ratings. Let me out, I don't wanna be pinched in. Yeah, I'm ready, who's next up? Pay attention now, yeah, you're best luck. I like to warm up like a few jabs. And then I hit hard like I left up. My style's unique, not test box. Step to me, you get yourself messed up. Win or lose, still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a room. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. The crowd has been waiting for this one for a very long time. Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. Time for... He is the greatest of all time. The Bronze Bomber, Dion. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this... So here we go, should be a good one. And he just misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. He just misses with that big right hand. This is a high 
octane battle. <laughs> Neither man really defending themselves. Through the hook, didn't land. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. No power in those two. Despite what the judges' scorecards need, there are no losers in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, don't wait for the Lord to it. Here we go, it's round two. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He's got a massive reach advantage, let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a thick young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. that jab. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fists. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connected, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that nothing above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Good counter punching for both. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. And they get out of the way of that left hand. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Spider's not 
shown us much defense at all. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance, without a doubt, makes it. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Change here from both men. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Right. He fails to score with that left hook. He missed with that jab. He misses with that jab. Beautiful counter shot. Miss with that left jab. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Left counter was perfectly timed. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell sometimes it's... On to the fifth we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come up and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a fist puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little baby with a big bucket him. Like them. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Deontay Wilder just got clipped. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. I'd like to see 
someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. That left hand, very close round with 10 seconds to go. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. Oh, I heard that little I saw it. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two. The weather couldn't be more perfect. Sunny skies as we get set to rumble here at Empire Fight Camp. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time now for our tale of the tape. And yes, he is the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. And of course, we fight outside today, Johnny, and that's gonna put a little extra strength. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? Left shot lands. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Good counter right hand again. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecard. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Punch, counter punch. And he just misses with that jab. I can save this from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That was almost a 10-8 round. What do we expect to see here in round two? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one.
You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarm, man. Be smart, be sharp. Concentrate, but you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance, because that swarmer, once you do that, you're giving the man a chance that shouldn't have one. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than this. That's a counter shot with the right hand. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Nice counter. Nice. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start round three. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He misses with that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. I'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Let's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Both men step back for just a moment. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Are we witnessing one of the all-time greats go down? Oh, I heard. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Round four, who's going to land the first big shot? After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Hands with the right counter. <laughs> So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. 
the strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. And he fails to score with that left hook. Combination to this safe. He misses with that jab. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good left counter that lands. There's a counter shot. He blocks the hook. That left counter punch will score. Got out of the way that right hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Great counter right hand there. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. And he misses with that jab. Quick punch score. These two are the perfect dance partners. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful though. Imagine being a judge here. How can you judge these? What shots are being thrown? There's no sense there. The corners are going mad. Trying to plead with a fight to behave. Step back, settle down. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's... There's the bell for round six. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. He missed with that jab. Job getting out of the way of that left. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fagin, pickpocket him. Offensive display landing that left down. Doesn't always pay to be first, it pays to be last. 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. That left counter was perfectly timed. That counter shot lands. Neither man really defending themselves. That right hook catching air. Nice counter shot. Show us something, Rocky. Thought we were going to see the finish there. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance without a doubt. But here we go, it's round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. When you've got a fast fire, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Jab just got blocked. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Let's then step back for just a moment. It's hard. We see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I, I, I'm being unfair. I'm being unfair since it's a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. And a counter left. Nice exchange here from both. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Rocky Marciano survive. Oh, He's never been knocked out. Rocky Marciano is down. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be a 10 8 round for sure with the knockdown. There's the bell for round eight. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on it. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they are on shaky legs. They're at... Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Swing and a miss with the hook. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those hot areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. A punch output. Thought there might be more action here.
that hook won't score. He's buried that right jab away. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you. As Here's the bell start round nine. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Beautiful counter punch. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Left punch! Exchange punches. That left hook missed. Can they figure out the combination to this set? You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run because otherwise if they deviate from the game plan they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over very close round with 10 seconds to go good counter punching from both well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think it's a... And there's the bell for round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. <laughs> Left hook misses. Good counter punch. One, two, three, four, five. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. God, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Down her right. Hook misses. You can't connect with that. Are we about to witness history? The great Rocky Marciano in serious trouble. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Can make or break it. And there's the bell. 
Bryant for round 11. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. God, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. <laughs> He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about work. Nice counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one will count. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Throws the jab and doesn't score. the final 10 seconds here it's probably around he'd rather forget he's been knocked down but at least not knocked out who thought we would have made it to 12 let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round that knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown i'd be very very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy that's not gonna happen he's got a hustle now he's got a he's got a bluff him. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. back up on their feet but i'm not sure why the corners must be so so happy down to a t play the plan out to a t if they can pick up momentum and do this who would have thought ali would get rattled like this either man really defending themselves exchange here from both men perfect counter lands are we witnessing one of the all one two three four five six seven eight nine not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.
you want number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came and cleaned up without a broom. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Straight in, more pain, so more gaining. Here I came in, guns blazing, at Raven. I'm Todd Grisham, and not a bad day for a fight. We are live at the Empire Fight Camp. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. And across the ring from him, Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a. Muhammad. The Gypsy. This bout is scheduled for 12. Well, I hope you brought your sunglasses because we're fighting out. We waited a long time, and now we've got this fight. The courage on display here is incredible. On the right. Punch. Insane action. Nice counter. Both men step back for just a moment. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react them. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers are watching you, watching you every move. That makes you switch. Nice job landing with Tyson Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. What do we expect to see here in round two? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Punch, counter punch. And he fails to score with that left hook. There's a counter shot. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. That left counter punch will score. When are we going to see a jab from these two? And shoot. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Looks like they're out of trouble. Counter punching. Beautiful counter shot.
He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a thick young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Good counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a... Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? It's been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He threw the hook. Didn't land. Missed him with that uppercut. Well, we know what the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry, get him frustrated, make him deviate away from the plan. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. Neither man really defending themselves. Big swing and a miss. Good counter punching from both these fighters. He misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second. On to the fourth we go. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drums because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Got out of the way of that right hook. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And he just missed with that left jab. Perfect counter lands. He missed with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice 
counter shot with the right hand. The game plan. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork, and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This fight has a real good flow to it. Counter shot. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Big hook. Good thing it didn't land. That left counter was perfectly timed. Very close. And Tyson Fury just got clipped. The big fella might be in big trouble. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. He is down big time on the scores. Wow, it's like two different. And there's the bell to start round six. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure in. That counter shot lands. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches that grow. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket. These two are the perfect dance partners. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Good left counter that lands. He misses with the left uppercut. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Both men, you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. There's 
the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. is certainly an aggressive fighter but that doesn't always mean success how many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo sometimes when you have a fight the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there they want you to stand there toe to toe with them and have a terror that's what they do in the gym every single day every week what you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots get out of the way and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. <laughs> Left counter scores. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. <laughs> Good counter left hand there. Both of these men showing exceptional chin. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they... And we enter the eighth round. Coming off that fantastic last round to see if he can keep his momentum going. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. Defending themselves. He blocks the right uppercut. Nice counter shot. Last exchange here from both men. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics so tight, so to actually outbox the fight and beat them on points. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. They exchange punches. You can tell he's stronger. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice job landing that left counter punch. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes... See how much fatigue we see here in round nine. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They're both trying for a knockout. Some 
got someone with that can speed that this fighter possesses, how do you do it? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Nice counter punch. <laughs> You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good counter right hand again. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. You lost that jab. Just misses with that jab. And a counter left. That's another scoring shot. Why aren't they defending? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt. This is the 10th. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Counterpunch. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a cliff. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. Great counter right hand there. Lands with the right counter. Lucky that hook didn't score. Nice exchange here from both men. Perfect counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. You think we'd see more accuracy? Both men step back for just a moment. And he misses with that jab. Beautiful counter punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter shot. We know that Bell was... Here we go in the championship round, round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. <laughs> One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Big counter punch. That left doesn't score. Can 
they figure out the combination to this safe. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. <laughs> Good one. Good counter punch. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Neither man really defending themselves. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Catch and shoot. Well, this is the time that the... And here's the bell for round 12. After that last round, something has got to change. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Punch, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there. Because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? We wanted action, and they are giving us action. with that jab. You'd like to see more jabs. Big shots from both these fighters. Tyson Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. Down goes Fury. One, two, three, four. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. <laughs> Tried to score with the jab. Perfect counter lands. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. <laughs> And that's it, a unanimous decision win. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result. What a night for a fight. We're at Brooklyn Hall. My name is Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. He'll square off against Tyson Fury. He stands at... And yet... The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Now the Six feet 
Invitational Heavyweight Champion of the World, known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Todd, I love this place. The atmosphere is usually second to none if you get the right fights in. You must obey. Good luck. You're expecting an all-action slugfest. <laughs> Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? <laughs> Punch. He misses with that jab. They're both trying for a knockout. and shoot with the left counter. Good job. He gets out of the way of that left hand. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in the Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. The referee calling for seconds out, right back into the action. And there's the bell to start round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. And he misses with that jab. Exchange here from both men. Nice job landing that left counter punch. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out there. <laughs> Then step back for just a moment. Counter left 
hand there. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Great counter right hand there. Counter shot with the right hand. It's knockout or... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. moment forward he cannot afford to lose another round needs a knockout without a doubt needs to go out there and think right you know what next round you're getting it you're gonna get a kitchen sink i like that round good you feel good good man and every time you see him take a big deep breath bang him down keep doing what you're doing the gaps will appear and he'll start tiring out Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. There's the bell to start round three. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry. Get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the plan. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fists. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes tonight a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drums because when these guys slow down, that's when it comes to them land. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. On the right. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner has got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. Relax, relax. Now don't wait till the And every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him down. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. Time winding down as we get set for another round. And here we go to the fourth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. When are we going to see a jab from these two? I'm nervous 
would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, and someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And he fails to score with that left hook. And they figure out the combination to this day. They just miss with that big right hand. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Great work. Great work. I love that. I love that. That jab split. That's beautiful. That's it. Start just picking up a few body shots from there a little bit. Just And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Back into the fray here in round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Both men step back for just a moment. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power. And I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Changes from both men in this round. Still swinging with nothing left. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's going to put a firecracker on that fighter. So get out there and get the job done. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up behind the jab and then let your shots go. Go in, get back into this fight. 
body and head, feet smart, change your angle, go out there and finish him, he's ready. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. This is the bell for round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. And he just misses with that jab. exchange here from both men you've heard the phrase finding a second win I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it what can they change can they slow the pace down can they hope to, to, to knock them out early what can they do they have to concentrate and relax because you know what you can do in the gym you can do it in a fight you've got to relax some nice exchanges from both men in this round he missed with that jab when are we going to see a jab from these two the old adage is no matter how much speed you've got timing beats speed some fighters are just gifted gifted with such hand speed footwork movement they are gifted they are the chosen few You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Don't forget the jab and don't get carried away. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Here comes round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. 
they're confident. They know they just have to quick burst, boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain it all the way through a fight. These two are the perfect dance partners. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Gotta let very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punches for both these athletes. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, it was like two different leagues. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. And there's the bell for round eight. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Catch and shoot. Neither man really defending themselves. Counter left. You'd like to see more jabs. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Nice so counter close, shot. So close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night. Nice job landing with that right-hand right -hand counter. Perfect counter lands. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin. Where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing up, and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? But a this round still up for Baz with just 10 seconds to go. He is down big time on the score. The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Don't chase too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. The gap's up here. Mate, he's shattered. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round.
fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. <laughs> There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag in a big bucket than him. Both men step back for just a moment. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Insane action! Fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. When you put a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. He's made it to round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Both men step back for just a moment. a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are you've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger stronger and faster you've just got to use brain then <laughs> covering up Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. <clears throat> nice counter punch. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. He misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. 
that counter scores. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. And he just missed with that left jab. Watch that jab. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Throws the jab, but does not score. Jab doesn't quite connect. Swing and a miss with that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Body in it. Feet smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Here's the bell for round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a counter shot. Good left counter that lands. Punches. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You gotta hope. You gotta hope they went out of steam. He threw the hook. Didn't land. Bad 
does not score. And they figure out the combination to this save. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. Left counterpunch will score. That left counter was perfectly timed. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through is willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Good counterpunch. Well, it's go back to the drawing board time, a unanimous decision victory. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight, what a style, what a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.